Hi everyone, and welcome to the second installment of my UCH guide series. Last video we covered the basics, so now I want to move on to some more advanced and specialized techniques. Today I will be teaching you about non-sprint wall jumps and most of the techniques that come with them. If you have not checked out the last video in my series, I'd recommend doing that first, as the techniques in this video will require a bit more experience. All that being said, let's dive right into it. Let's start off with the simple things. When a wall protrudes out from another wall by a single block, you can non-sprint jump in the direction of the wall from roughly 3 to 3.5 blocks down to get up. Notice how my top foot lines up with the 3 block mark. This visual indicator is different for every animal. Learn it well. The non-sprint is much better for speedrunning than a sprint jump since it allows you to keep tighter to the wall, allowing you to jump immediately. Just like with the last video, you can follow along best by entering in the level code in the description. This technique here does not have a commonly used name to my knowledge, so for the sake of this video, we will be calling it a basic wire jump, as this is just a simplified version of the wire jump, a very common technique at higher levels of play, that will be covered next. In order to do this, jump right underneath the wires, slide down just a little bit, perform a non-sprint jump in the direction of the wall, and switch directions shortly thereafter. Once you are on the top block, just quick jump up. I placed these wires exactly 8 blocks up so that you can do a full jump from directly beneath them and reach just the spot you're trying to jump from. This still puts you slightly too high, so slide down a little bit before doing the jump. This is still the easy way, so once you are comfortable with the jump, try doing it again, but quick jumping on the wall to align yourself below the wires. This next jump is essentially the same thing, but a little easier. It looks intimidating because of the wire being so close to the block, but you can quick jump for most of the single block and not die. When done from close enough to the wire, you can even land directly on the single block, which can be necessary in certain situations. Next we have the wire jump. This is one of the most commonly used skills in high level play, so I recommend practicing this heavily. There are a few ways to get over this wire, but I will be teaching you the most optimal method, the delayed quick jump. The delayed quick jump is extremely useful and actually quite simple. All you need to do is perform a quick jump but press sprint later than you normally would. What this does is keep you further away from the wall for a longer period of time, which allows you to do a wire jump among other things. Practice this until it is easy as breathing, then move on to the next technique. Here we have the advanced wire jump. Again, this looks much more daunting than it actually is. All you need to do is perform a delayed quick jump towards the wall, then pull back a little bit in the opposite direction once you reach the top. Next we will be talking about the spin jump. Spin jumping is, as the name might imply, spinning, or changing directions back and forth after wall jumping. It allows you to reach the max height of your jump less far from the wall. Start at the right side, get below the wires, and spin jump. This one is pretty easy, but practice it until you're comfortable with it. This technique in the middle is a spin jump with sprint, but it can also be done by non-sprint jumping to the other side from right below the wire. This technique on the left is much harder than the other two, and shows up much more often in high level play. To do it, just wall jump from the opposite side to get right below the wire, then spin jump. This can also be done as a wire jump, but that depends on what hazards are above it. All of these techniques here are pretty intuitive, so most of the learning will come from the time you spend practicing it. I know I say it a lot, but I really can't stress it enough. Practice these techniques until they are easy to do. In the future, I will release a video on how to practice efficiently. This next technique is called the non-sprint align. By non-sprint jumping towards a wall and seizing all directional inputs at the right time, you can align yourself exactly one block out from the wall while falling straight down. It isn't too common that a setup like this is explicitly built, but there are many situations where the non-sprint align can make a certain setup easier, so it is good to look for. Last, but certainly not least, here are a couple more uses for the delayed quick jump. On the bottom, we have the saw squeeze jump. With practice, it is actually fairly easy to do, but some of the top players still struggle with it. It is also very common and very easy to set up, so learn it well. For each of these saw squeeze jumps, just quick jump to right below the saw when it is at the top, then slide down to around the 4 block mark. After doing this, perform a delayed quick jump and jump once you hit the wall. Personally, I recommend using less of a delay than you would for a wire jump. 
It seems to work more often when I do it this way. In order to slide down the wall quickly and more accurately, press down to fast slide while holding up on a wall. This way, when you let go of down, you will immediately begin slow sliding again. This last technique here is called the perfect squeeze jump. In my opinion, it is significantly harder than everything else covered in this video. Many top players still can't reliably do it. With solid practice, however, it isn't too bad. It took me 3 or 4 hours and well over 300 successful attempts to be able to do this reliably, but how fast you learn it is entirely dependent on the person. If you treat this as a normal squeeze jump, your jump once you are inside the gap will always force you to hit the spike ball. What makes this possible is the sweet spot. If you jump from the lowest possible point within the gap, you will not gain as much vertical momentum. This is possible due to what I am sure is some broken corner mechanic, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. In order to do this jump, perform a heavily delayed quick jump from around 4.1 to 4.2 blocks down. Once you are in the gap, perform either a 1.5 or a 1 block jump input. Anything more will almost always kill you. That covers just about everything I wanted to talk about today. I forgot to mention this earlier, and honestly I'm too lazy to go back and fix that section of the video, but if you are comfortable with wire jumps and want to challenge yourself, go through the portal to the right. Also, the perfect squeeze jump doesn't require the delayed quick jump, I just find that it makes it easier, since you come in at less of a steep angle so you are more likely to hit the sweet spot. I have a few ideas for my next videos, but if you have any requests as to what you want me to cover, feel free to leave them in the comments below. See you next time!